Today I'm going to be showing you how to reformat an external hard drive or any hard drive uh, into a new format that you will be using. If you don't know what reformatting means, basically you reformat or change the file system on the device, which essentially erases everything on the hard drive so you can have a fresh start and can do practically anything you want with it from there. This is useful if you have a hard drive formatted for Windows and you want to use it on a Mac, or if you want to remove any pre-installed developer stuff. For example, the newer Western digital hard drives come with security software that can be a pain in the butt if you just want to drag and drop stuff onto the hard drive and kind of use it as like a large flash drive. Or if you simply have old info that you don't need anymore, this is a lot better than dragging the files into the trash and then deleting them from there. So in order to do this, you will first need to have your hard drive plugged in. And second, you're going to need to open up an application called Disk Utility by going to Spotlight and searching. So you can do this either by clicking here and searching for the application or by hitting command spacebar and searching. Disk Utility comes with a Mac, so whether you have a newer or older Mac, you should have this application already installed. Once open, you are going to select the drive you want to reformat or erase all the data on. Make sure you select the right drive. From there, you're going to go to Erase. And then you're going to select the format. Mac OS Extended Journal is the most basic all-around format. I recommend this format for all Mac users, beginner to advanced. Um, MS-DOS or FAT is the format for Windows. And this is newer Windows, I believe. The rest of these are just other Mac OS stuff, and these are just the case sensitive. But the best all-around one is Mac OS Extended Journal. So select that. Then you're going to rename your drive. I'm going to rename it Jared's iMac Backup because this is what I will be using the drive for, the newer backup. And then from there, you're going to go to Security Options. And the higher the pass, the more difficult it is for you to recover the data once it's been erased. But right now, we're just going to stay simple and stick with the Don't Erase data. I know it says don't erase data, but it actually does erase all of the data on the drive. And by using this option, if you were to select the wrong hard drive or forget to take uh, the important stuff off of the drive and you want it back, um, this gives you the best chance of recovering the files. But if you're deleting personal info like finances or business stuff, you should use the seven pass or any of these higher pass um, options. Uh, the FBI uses like 35 pass, 64 pass, and so to erase their data, so there's no, pretty much no chance of a hacker or somebody you don't want uh, getting access to your old files. And then from there, we're just going to stay with don't erase. You click OK, and then you're going to click erase. And are you sure? Yes. And this shouldn't take too long. As you can see, here's the progress it's showing here, and it's reformatting the drive. Depending on how many files you have, it may take longer, but there it is. It's all done. A couple of seconds. I have a new fresh hard drive. As you can see, there is 499 gigabytes available, which is almost exactly the amount of the original, give or take, like, almost a little bit less than a gigabyte, but you're never always going to get all of the space back simply because it's been written over so many times. So now that my external hard drive has a fresh start, I can drag and drop the files I want onto it or back it up through Time Machine. I can pretty much do whatever I want with it. If you have any questions, please comment below or send me a message and I'll be happy to help you out. Hopefully this video helped you. And I'll see you in the next one.